with an FC TV with Chris Agata ahead of this weekend's uh, double header against Hamel Hempstead and Truro City. Chris, how are you looking forward to these two? Uh, yeah, yeah, should be um, two more away games, two two more tough away games. So yeah, no, we just look forward to putting more points on the board, which is um, you know, which is the attitude really. We look at both games and yes, they're going to be very difficult and uh, present certain challenges, but. Again, same as the other two games, we just look at it in terms of the six points up for grabs and, and that's, the, that's the aim. I'm sure your full focus has been on Hamill. What is it that you can expect from them as an opposition? Uh, they're very direct. Um, they get the ball forward quickly. Um, are full of energy, winning runners. They're, uh, they're a decent side. I mean, we've watched all three of their games and um, we've watched a lot of their pre-season fixtures as well so you know, pretty clear on what they do um, yeah again it's nothing that we haven't seen before um, and it's nothing that we that we don't think we can't cope with to be honest uh, it'll be very much around us uh, again despite being away from home us sort of putting our game and impressing our game on them and and uh, doing what we do really well and uh, we think if we meet our own standards and expectations we uh, will win the game Looking then at Truro, it's a long trip on a bank holiday Monday. How much of a challenge will that be? Uh, yes, it's, uh, yeah, it would, it's more a challenge for the players, to be honest. You've got to spend three days in a row with me, so um, which is difficult. So, um, yeah, again, like anything, we try and view it as an opportunity and positives, really. So, you know, in terms of like travelling down there on the Sunday and um, it being an overnight stay, the, you know, the club's given us the best opportunity possible to make sure we're um, in his best position to to compete and ultimately win the game, which again is the is the challenge. But we just think the time together and um, the uh, yeah the the added extra of the overnight stay can only be a positive, really, um, just in terms of where the group's developing and still getting to know each other. Um, yeah, it's uh, as I said, we view it as an opportunity more than anything else. We can probably expect to see a bit more of the squad used as well. Obviously, with two games in such quick succession, I'm sure that's part of your plan. Yeah, definitely. We'll use we'll use sort of 15, 16 players across both games, maybe even more, um, because we do need to see we do need to see some of the the other members of the team that maybe haven't as played as much, um, because you know we've yes we've made a really good start and from. You know, got four points from two really difficult games, but there's a there's a few things that we're not, uh, I wouldn't say not happy about, but we think we can improve on, um, and that might be through personnel changes and and uh, you know slight tweaks. So we are looking at that, um, and ultimately as as well, like you see it last weekend against St Albans, where I didn't think we could change it as much as I would have liked from the bench, whereas they've made three or four changes in the game and uh, you can see their substitutions have made a real difference. So um, we, we, need to, we need to look at that. Now, whether that's with the existing squad or perhaps more likely a couple of new additions, um, we definitely need to get ourselves in a position where we've got a little bit more depth, where we can impact the game from the, from the bench. And I think, I think the squad over the the next couple of games will be hugely important. And looking at the availability of that squad heading into the double header, is there anyone that might be missing? Uh, not sure. Um, we've had a couple of players come in early from training tonight, uh, like Cash has, has um, stopped training early, Doors and Beardy, which is less than ideal because um, those two have been been brilliant for us. So, uh, but again, it you know we just sort of. Rather than uh, be too downbeat about it, we just view it as an opportunity for other players to um, step up and, and deliver. And you know, we, as I said, you know, it, it's uh, we've got confidence that the majority of the group can do that. And, and where perhaps we feel maybe one or two aren't quite ready, we'll look to we we'll look to recruit, um, and we are working on that. But also, we've got. We've got a couple of lads from the academy that have been very good as well. So um, Cooper Renzulli's been training with the first team regularly, and he is very good. Um, so where some of the summer signings perhaps haven't 
done as much as we would have liked. We've had a nice surprise in Cooper, who's, uh, who's looking very good. Um, and also Arthur Gregory, who um, young left side centre half played at Chichester in pre-season, has also done really well. So uh, again, I, I think there's opportunities there for, for our younger players.